Okay, so vodka plus lime plus salt plus mango butter makes... Breakfast of champions? Well, yes, but also this. Lush's Ocean Salt Self-Preserving Scrub. A cosmetic cocktail with a kick. So we're going to Lush's 120,000 square foot Toronto facility to meet Sarah Ponte. Sarah's going to explain exactly how they make a self-preserving scrub. Self-preserving at Lush means that we're using natural ingredients to preserve our products naturally. By doing this, we're able to eliminate the use of synthetic preservatives. If you can use a product that has no synthetics in it, and you have the option to use something that's natural, why wouldn't you use it? Try just describing it in three words. The three words that I would use to describe self-preserving ocean salt would be fresh, gentle, and rejuvenating. Great, now tell us about the vodka. The night before, we're gonna make an extract of lime and vodka. Done. Done here, in fact, in Lush's cosmetic kitchen, where Sarah and senior compounder Huang start making the magic. First up, Huang and Sarah roughly chop the limes, leaving the rinds intact because they're packed full of vitamin C. Vitamin C brightens my skin and minimizes the appearance of my wrinkles. The limes are blended with vodka. The alcohol content is going to help preserve this scrub, then it's left to soak overnight. In a year, we've gone through about the same equivalent of 32 vodka martinis. Actually, we heard it was more like 32,000. Oh, did I say only 32? That's a sad party. <sighs> Chopped grapefruit is wrapped in cheesecloth, which is left to infuse in a pot of water, simmering at 94 degrees Celsius. Once cooked and cooled, the grapefruit infusion is poured into this steam kettle. Then, organic coconut oil, organic mango butter, and avocado butter are added. All very moisturizing, I'm sure, but this looks more like something I put in my mouth than on my body. Waxes are added, which will warm on the skin to create a spreadable finish. Then Huang blends chopped tofu with glycerin. Tofu is known to contain nutrients which tighten and moisturize the skin. Okay, but seriously, could you actually eat this stuff? If you really wanted to, you could. I'd rather just drink the vodka lime extracts. The lime vodka extract is blended by this giant hand mixer. Then it's strained to catch any pulp. Then it's transferred to a mixer. The final ingredient is a top secret mix of essential oils, which get blended together at Lush's UK headquarters. After cooling overnight, this blend is ready for some seasoning. Fine sea salt is measured in very, very carefully. Careful now, Sarah. Careful. The salt is the stuff that's going to really buff the skin. It's been used as a natural exfoliant for centuries. Approximately this year, we've used 38 tons of salt, which is about the same weight as 17 great white sharks. We love sharks at Lush. We love sharks, too. Now it's over to our packagers, Bethany, Tim, and Lori. And that's the ocean waves they're miming, just in case it wasn't immediately obvious. The scrub is transferred to this tap-operated depositor, where Bethany measures it into 250-gram pots. By the end of the day, I can actually hear the ocean. Yeah, well, she's not the only one. Lori dips each pot in a little extra fine sea salt, which has been dyed to a soothing blue color. Then the pots are passed to Tim, who adds a lid. They've slowed down for us, but this can can package up to 20,000 pots a day. In one year, Lush produces over 107,000 kilograms of ocean salt scrub. The pots are crated and transferred to this machine for labeling. Lids are labeled first. Then each pot receives an iconic Lush label and a face sticker. Every product that leaves the factory has a sticker with a face of the compounder who made it. When the customers purchase the products, they can actually see who mixed it all up and made it for them. And this is a huge thing for a compounder to actually finally get. Labeled pots are loaded into packing cartons to await distribution to bathrooms across the country. Whoa, how decadent. A salty scrub with a boozy kick sure makes bath time sound a lot more appealing. Is it weird that I still want to eat this stuff? Yeah, say some for the skin, would you?
Thank you.